This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on guys, it's me Andrew here and today we're going to be taking a look at a new piece of software developed by Razer um, and Razer is the company that brings us um, devices such as um, these gaming mices, I'm using the Razer Absys and a whole bunch of other gaming peripherals, headsets and stuff like that. Um, but Razer is now getting into making software, especially game software and um, they have made the Razer Game Booster, I made a tutorial a while back on that. But today we're going to be looking at Razer Comms and how it pretty much runs and everything. So I'm going to give you guys an overview of the interface once you open it up. This thing would be gone when um, the actual full version comes out. And I'm not sure whether the full version is going to be free or whether you have to pay for it. I'm pretty sure they're going to make it free. But um, at the top right here, you guys can uh, add a little picture if you want. Um, and then underneath that, you have all your fr your friends list. Then you have groups that you've created, and then these are the games, okay? Razer, game, um, Razer Comms automatically searches your computer for the games that you have. You can also click scan, and it will scan all your games, but uh, if you're lazy, you can do that. But if you want to individually add games such as Minecraft that don't that are not like installed or just like executable files, then you can go ahead and um, open up your desktop or your, go to your computer and find where the game is located, and um, yeah, you can launch it from there but once you have uh, opened it up under the game tab uh, you, what you want to do is that since sometimes the overlay or they have this thing called the overlay where you press control shift or or control tab actually and once you press that it will bring up pretty much this window um, onto th over the game so it's not like you have um, another it's not like steam it's like the steam overlay but it's an actual it's actually pretty much this program and it has all the tools so you don't have to be alt tab and back and forth through your game so to turn on the overlay for a game that you've added you can right click on it and then click overlay on and then you can launch the game by right clicking on it or clicking this little play button um, under that you also have the ability to rename names rename games um, add favorites hide the game if you want and um yeah that's that's it for the game tab and uh, right here you guys get notif notifications so I have a friend right now Psychostrats I play Saints Row with him and if he sends me a message and I'm not online or anything um, the message will go right here and when I come back I can check it alright so guys, let's go under the settings tab or go under the hood and see what's there alright so um, you guys can tell under preferences there's how many tabs? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tabs. The first one being general, okay? So here's where you can set um, up all your pretty much your preferences and stuff like that from like logging automatically to uh, let's see, incoming messages, play sounds, uh, pretty much friends that come online, a whole bunch of other stuff that are just pretty much general. They're not advanced, they're just general stuff. Um, then you can go to chat options and if you want to enable push to talk, so if you want to press, let's say, the little this this a key on your keyboard to enable uh, my little push to talk uh, let's see I'm gonna pretty much set it as this right there or uh, that symbol and I can use that as my push to talk but I don't like using push to talk I will just change it to the regular setting and you can also go about the display information or informative this message during chat um, what else? So we also have audio, and this is the cool part about this is that when I use any any um, chat software, especially Razer Comms, what I like what I do is that I have two headphones connected into my computer. Since I do have two different sound cards, I have earbuds, right? And I set up my um, my audio down here so act as like pretty much a mixer when I call my friend uh, after at the end of the tutorial to show you guys the quality of the chat you guys can see what I mean but I pretty much set up my microphone for this mic that I'm using alright and um, my speakers I'm using these as the speakers so I'm not using my headset as the speakers I'm using this as the speaker my earbuds and I just pretty much place it in my ear and um, I hear my the, the chat um, voice different from the game so it's not like it's two different audio streams so I think that is a pretty cool thing that I figured out to do um, prior, I did that primarily because um, I had to record with DX story I want to record three different tracks um, when I'm doing a commentary the game audio my audio and my friends audio from Razer comms um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do the uh, 
the testing right now to show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna test the audio, and I will call them. And you guys can tell that. See, my my second speaker is right here. See, real tech speaker. All right. All right. So my name is Andrew, and today I'm testing Razer Comms. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And uh, and it should beep now. That's it. You see? Now that's you just click that to test your audio and your audio settings to make sure that if you're using this setup, it works properly. Um, I like this way because well, it has pretty much it acts like a little earpiece, and I have the game sound and I can control the game sounds from a different stream, so it doesn't interfere with the actual headset. Well, that's another thing you can do. You don't have to do it. Um, Let's go to under the in-game setting, and under here, you guys can tell that you guys can control the the um, the, the shortcut for the um, in-screen overlay. Now, I changed mine to Control Shift because Control Tab, for some reason, in some games, um, is binded. I think it's when I'm using um, yeah, when I'm using what's it called? When I'm using when I'm using Origin games, since I think it's Control Tab um, brings up the Origin overlay, so it pretty much interferes with it. Uh, another thing that I can do right now, change the overlay transparency and um, display notifications in the game and pin uh, window to show um, text. I can pretty much check text and voice, or you can just use text text only or voice only. Um, then you can go to profile. This part is really cool because you can, uh, let's say, add a little bit. A little bit, little bit of information about you. So I wrote, I hate RTS games. If you love RTS games, screw you. And I'm pretty much obviously joking. I do hate RTS games. Then you can change your nickname, then your name, last name, and you can change that to public. Um, then your razor ID. When you make your razor ID, it's pretty much sticks. Um, then your date of birth and a whole bunch of stuff. I want to blur this part out so you guys can see my information. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what else? Then it's about Razer Comms, so the version of Razer Comms that you're using, a whole bunch of stuff, drivers and stuff like that. <laughs> that is pretty much it for the preferences. Now we're going to actually make a call to see how it is, and I'm going to show you guys some in-game footage of Minecraft with Razer Comms activated. So I'm going to call Psychostrats right here. Actually, before I even call him, I'm going to open up the chat menu, and I'm going to show you guys how you pretty much chat. So I can go ahead and uh, go to... I can say hello. It's a test. Please reply. And he will. This is that he's typing. <laughs> no, for the tutorial. Yeah, he doesn't know. He has no idea. You guys can add um, friends. To the um, current, current, um, pretty much to the chat, or you guys can, or you can uh, pretty much click add friend. Yeah, you click add friend, and you can add friends to the group. And another thing you can do is you can go right here, which says find friends, and you can search up your friend's name, anything that you want. So uh, there's a whole bunch of people, and I can add random people, but I'm not gonna do that. I only add friends that I know. Then I can go to connect with Skype, and once I connect with Skype, it will actually find. Uh, my friends on Skype that pretty much I game with and I will send them invites to join Razer comms So I think that's a pretty cool nifty tool And you can also connect with Facebook and do a whole bunch of other cool stuff But I'm gonna go ahead and close Skype and this and I'm gonna make a call uh, So that you guys can see the audio quality All right, so I'm calling him right now um, I'm gonna see how all right, yo, what up? What's up? Yeah, I'm just testing out this Razer comms thing. Um, Are you making another video? No, 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 no. It's because remember what I told you when I called you last time. I had to. <laughs> oh. Funny thing is that I had to end up chopping the um, other end of pretty much my first take because I forgot to change the stream that I set up for um, for DX Tory. Mm -hmm. So now it's working all right. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh snap. Yeah. Oh snap. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 
he's currently playing some Minecraft. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I, I, am I? Am I a fan of that game? Well, I'm not that great at it, but oh, that's not the point. You guys can tell his um, the audio quality is pretty much great, and um, you guys shouldn't be getting any feedback. But if you do, um, it's pretty much because of your audio quality, and I do suggest changing it or finding something better. Um, but yeah, yo, say say something. Say mic check, mic check to see how mic great check. it is. Hello. Yep. It, so do you, do you think this program is better than Skype? Yeah, or better. Steam Chat? Better than both. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. There is a. I'll say so. No I'm, buzz. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's no buzz. And another cool thing, with the, pretty much what I like about this program is that you can have the program itself as an overlay, as opposed to some like simplified or dummy down version of the. Um, yeah, you can bring it up like you can bring up the Steam page. Yeah, exactly. But it's actually the actual program itself instead of a simplified dummy down thing. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh, and I do wish that they add like a little social aspect of it where it does gather information about your games. But I think that would be invading people's privacy. And um, oh, that's just me. That's just me. That's and just me. me. <laughs> and him too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and tutorials, and let's plays with Psychostrats. He sucks, and I'm, I'm the yeah. greatest. Sure. <laughs> All right, later, guys.